Let's go over how to find the critical value, or z-score, corresponding to a particular confidence level. I'll show you how to do it with these three common examples of confidence levels. Beginning with a 95% confidence level, what is the corresponding z-score? Just think about the picture. We're thinking about a normal distribution here, and if this is our mean, then what we're looking for is a z-score such that if we add the z-score, to the mean and subtract the z-score from the mean, we're going to create this bounded region within which 95% of the area lies. But you have to be careful. This doesn't mean that you should look up the z-score corresponding to 95% because remember the z-score table gives us areas to the left of the z-score, which means we have to consider this lower tail, which is included. If we're looking for this region which bounds 95% of the area, each tail must comprise 2.5%, because in total, the tails must add to the remaining 5%. That means the z-score we're looking for isn't the z-score corresponding to 95%, but in fact, the z-score that corresponds to 97.5%. Because whatever this z-score is right here, that guy has 97.5% of the area below it. The simple calculation we're doing here is just the confidence level plus half of its complement. 95% plus half of the remaining 5%, so 97.5%. So let's look that up, 0.975 in the z-score table. And we can see there it is, with a corresponding z-score of 1.96. 95% is a common enough confidence level that it's worth memorizing. So if you're constructing a Z interval with 95% confidence, that's the critical value that you need, 1.96. Let's go through the same logic with a 99% confidence interval. Again, what we're looking for is a critical value, or a Z score, so that if we add it to the mean and subtract it from the mean, we will bound this region, which in this case should contain 99% of the area. In the context of a confidence interval for proportions, we should have 99% of the sample proportions within this range. That means the tails together must make up the remaining 1%, so each tail must contain half of that, because the normal distribution is symmetric, so each tail contains 0.5%. So the z-score we're looking up is not the z-score corresponding to 99%, but the z-score corresponding to 99% plus half of its complement, so the z-score corresponding to an area of 0.995. So let's look at the table and find it. And it looks like the closest we can get to 0.995 is right there, which has a corresponding z-score of 2.58. So for a 99% confidence level, if constructing a Z interval, the Z score you need, or the critical value as it's called, is 2.58. Obviously, if you want more confidence, you're going to have a larger critical value, which contributes to a larger margin of error, because to have greater confidence, you need a wider interval. One more example for a 90% confidence level. Again, what we need is not the Z score corresponding to 90%, but the z-score corresponding to 90% plus half of its complement. Thus, the z-score we want is actually the z-score corresponding to 0.95. 90% plus half of the remaining 10, so 95%. Let's look that up then in the z-score table. And it looks like the closest we can get is right there, with a corresponding z-score of 1.64. So for a 90% confidence level, the corresponding corresponding critical value is 1.64. That, of course, is the smallest critical value so far because it is the lowest amount of confidence. If you're okay with a lower amount of confidence, you can get away with a smaller interval. So that's how you find a critical value for a z-interval given a confidence level. You could also use your calculator and the inverse normal CDF function if you prefer. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my stats course and stats exercises playlists in the description for more.
Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind. Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together, like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they.